Yeah, in this morning's Health Watch, a historical medical breakthrough. A baby named KJ, born with a rare genetic disorder, is the first person in the world to be successfully treated with a tailor-made gene therapy. The baby's family is speaking to CBS News in their first CB TV interview. We love that about their nine and a half month long journey to, to toward KJ's recovery. CBS News Chief Medical Correspondent Dr. John Lapook has more of their story. Soon after KJ Muldoon was born last summer, the baby was diagnosed with CPS1 deficiency, a rare genetic disorder that is fatal for about half the infants born with it. What KJ was missing was an enzyme, essentially something that was responsible for breaking down toxic ammonia or a toxic um, item that's building up in his blood. Until now, the only long-term treatment that worked had been a liver transplant. Instead, doctors at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia told KJ's family they could try something never done before. Use a technology called CRISPR to find the one uniquely mutated gene out of 20,000 in his little body and fix it. I remember we talked with the care team during that conversation. And I had said, you know, we fought really hard to get him here. And now that he is here, I want to give him the opportunity to fight for himself. KJ received three infusions to his liver earlier this year, and he's been gaining weight and thriving. 20,000 genes in the body, three billion letters. This was a single defective letter? Yes. Yes. It's amazing that it can work, right? It's really amazing. Doctors Rebecca Ahrens Nicholas and Kiran Musanuru are part of KJ's medical team. In six months, we were able to actually make the drug, the gene editing therapy, specifically for this patient, get approval from the FDA to actually administer it to the patient and give it to the patient. KJ! KJ's parents, Nicole and Kyle, are looking forward to his first birthday in August and having him home in the coming weeks. If it's a rainy Sunday sitting on the couch watching a movie with all of us and not the five of us plus KJ's in the hospital. The little moments that you probably don't think are as important when you know that you're missing a piece of your family, I'm looking forward to that. So far, there have been no serious side effects, but doctors are monitoring him closely. Dr. LaPook, this seems like an enormous deal. What does this mean for treating other diseases? Well, I spoke to the researchers yesterday, and, and they were telling me this. Imagine being able to turn genes on, turn genes off. They control our, our bodies, what, what we do during the day, the proteins that are yeah. created, and then also correct a gene that's not working correctly. So imagine something like heart disease, uh, brain disease, and, and what, what, what he said at the oh, end was, holy. imagine if you had a cancer gene and you could turn that off or fix it. So you, so you can clearly save lives, and then there's also the ethical questions of improving lives, mm. enhancing people in some way. What, right. Who decides in what cases this operation, this uh, editing technique is used? That's a good question. Well, you know, you know, the people who invented this about, about 10 years ago, there was a TED Talk, and I just watched it, um, and they raised that issue about the ethics of all this. And we're not talking, to be clear, about changing embryos, right? We're talking about somebody who already has a disease. This person, you know, the problem here is as soon as she was born, the clock was ticking. Yeah, yeah. Um, sorry, he was born. Yeah. The clock was ticking. And he had a, a rare metabolic disease that made him have ammonia levels uh, rise too quickly, and that can damage the brain. Mm. So what was new here, there has been CRISPR in the past. Yeah. What was new here was this custom-made CRISPR. Uh, and they were able to make it in six months, and meanwhile, they gave it to him. He felt better, wow. uh, and uh, you know these are early days. The researchers caution me, but um, it, it's really exciting for the yeah. future. Yeah, well, definitely rooting for that kiddo for sure. All right, John, thank you so much. Thank we you. appreciate you, Doc.